Okay, welcome to Hera's Bogita Guide. Uh, as you can see, I've played quite a bit of Bogita. However, uh, not that much competitive. Only 40 hours. 10% competitive. Quick play, uh, about half. Deathmatch, quite a lot. And uh, that's about it. Lots of other random stuff. Team Deathmatch, 20 hours. So we played half as much Team Deathmatch as competitive. If you want to play an uh, overpowered 4v4 team deathmatch character, Bagita is number one. And here's what you need to know about Bagita. Uh, the first thing you want to do is change your keys. So the Blizzard in their infinite wisdom put Whipshot on Shift. Uh, that's terrible. Whipshot needs to be on left mouse click. And Repair Pack you want to have on Mouse 5 or another key that is not E. The reason for this is Bogita is a melee hero, so moving around a lot. You don't want to have to take your finger off of Move Right to heal, uh, which normally you would press D. Uh, so therefore, very important to change the key for Repair Pack also. Uh, so what I end up with is Shield Bash on Left Shift, which is Primary Attack, and Whip Shot on Left Click. Uh, the reason why this is good is because if you hold right click down then you can aim with the whip still and you just hold right click and then you press left click for attack. So oh, I got to move keyboard. Uno momento. Did we start recording? <laughs> did we start recording? Professional. We did. Okay, we're all good. One takes good enough. And <laughs> lot of good info. So here, here's to explain. Uh, what do we do? We change to Widow. Where are you? Here. So Widow. You want to fire Widow? You hold down right click, left click attack. Holding down the right mouse button, left click attack. Then you switch to your Bagita. What is it? Exactly the same. Holding down right click, left click to attack. So this is why you change the key, because accuracy is on the left mouse click, not on shift. Uh, trust me, Blizzard doesn't know anything about Bagita. If, if you want to know how much Blizzard knows about Bagita, just go back to launch Bagita and see how balanced they were, and you've got a good indication. So we just need to change keys, very important. Uh, the next thing about Bagita is attack. Uh, so if you want to hold down attack, you can go like this. Um, it's important when using Bagita though to use your shield to cancel the whip. So you go whip, and I'm pressing right mouse button and my shield is turning the whip. The reason why this is important is because it's much easier to do cleave. Uh, so now we can hit both targets very easy instead of doing this stun, which is actually... I'll try, I'll try. I'm not that good at it, but we'll try. That is, you know, not as accurate. Not as accurate. If you've got a Genji flying around, uh, much easier to use shield cancel to uh, hit the Genji. Uh, so a nice warm up for Brig, you just go like shield cancel. Oh yeah! Okay, we haven't played Brig in a little while, but whatever. <laughs> Still Brig. Easy, so you can just practice using your shield cancel. Very easy. Okay, so now you've warmed up on Brig. Uh, what else do we need to know? The healing mechanics of Brig. Uh, we've got a repair pack, it's a heal over time. Uh, the important about thing about this is that uh, even if you die, the heal still goes on. The same thing is true for Inspire. Uh, so we'll wait for Old Mate here. Get some damage. So we've got Inspire on this character here. If I was to die now, that heal still goes through for 5 seconds. So it's important on Brig that you keep trying to get Inspire ticks because it puts out a heal over time buff. So every time you get Inspire, a buff goes on this character, it doesn't matter what happens to me now, that buff keeps ticking on this one. Uh, so, very important for Brig. Nice healing. Uh, so, what else do we need to know about Brig? Ah, so the thing about the shield cancel is, uh, you can get a fair bit of range. So, this is one attack. Oh, You can see one swing you can hit from here to here, that's one attack. So, Brig kind of has like scythe. I'll put you over there. Sorry, we're doing too much damage, I can't show you, but... This one still got hit, so that's one attack. So if you do it fast, you can go like this, and you get a wide arc. This is very important if you're against like Zaya, Brig, Ryan, and there's three heroes that are kind of stacked up. Instead of kind of doing this and hitting one, you can go like this, and you hit all three. Uh, you build much more ultimate, and you get your rally faster. Uh, anything to know about the rally besides that it's OP? 
Uh, 30 seconds is how long the armor lasts for. 30 seconds in Overwatch is a very long time. Uh, so don't be afraid to press rally before the team fight and push in with it and then be fine with it on there. Uh, some warm up for Brig is... what do we got? This is good for what you want to do around here is just practice doing the uh, shield cancel. So you just want to practice moving and shield cancel same time. Ah yeah! Okay, they got away. Sometimes it's good to hold if you know where the target's going to be. Uh, the one downside to shield cancel is just like Orion, is that your shield doesn't recharge. You see now it's at, well it was at 168. So if you shield cancel all the time, uh, then your shield will not regenerate. So important to take that into account when you're running around. Rig shield does regenerate very quickly. Uh, so the next thing to know is, say we want to whip this target here. Uh, something that can be good is you just do that, what is it, uh, rocket jump? <laughs> shield bash, that's it. Uh, so you do shield bash towards target. So say there's something over here, you can go like this. And this is a common way to get a whip. Because you're standing over here, this target over here knows that you're out of range, so they're not worried about it. If this is like D.Va, Winston, Roadhog, Hammond, they don't think that they can get a whip, so they feel safe there. But if you then use charge, you can quickly get in position and get a whip, uh, and it, it ends in a lot, of, uh, a lot of successful whips. And the other thing as well is, during the charge, you've got that like timing to aim. So during this period, uh, you aim. So how I'm actually doing this is I'm holding down jump. So right now I'm going to press jump. My finger is still pressing down the button for jump. Now I'm holding down right click and I press forward. And after the shield bash, Brig does a jump. My finger is still holding down jump. I have not let go of jump at all this whole time. So it goes forward and then it does a jump at the end. Very easy to do. You do not have to time the jump, you just hold it down. Uh, so that is an, another nice little tip. And what else do we need? I think that's about it for the training mode. Uh, we'll go into a like a nice warm-up game for Brig. And so we'll get out of here. Play a custom game. Where is it? Game browser. Create. Settings. Presets. Okay, we've got one. No cooldown. Where is it? I think it's this one. Blizzard custom game needs a complete overhaul. Not a complete overhaul. They need a lot of work though. It's not the best. Okay, no cooldown. Sweet. That's what we want. And now we just hit add AI, add them all. And we've got Torbjorn such as it is. I can't remember if I changed it so Torbjorn turret gets turned off, but we'll see. This is a skirmish only mode. And you've got, inf you've got no cooldown. So we're going to just run around the map. The reason to do this is just to practice being in chaos. Brig, a lot of the time, you're in chaos. There's just stuff going on all around you. Uh, and you need to just sort of ignore that. And then just get get whips every now and then. So this is a good mode for just practice stun, whip. A lot of people don't do the stun and then whip. Uh, it's quite a useful one if you're in a dangerous position. Instead of doing flail, you just do the stun and the whip straight away. These, the healing is like 500%, so I can't actually die here. There's no risk of this. However, uh, it's useful normally to... You've got a lot of loud noises going on around you all the time as Brig. Uh, and your kind of your actions are quite loud as well. So it's just getting used to like all of these explosions on your screen, stuff going on all over the shop. Uh, so it's very different if you've played like Counter-Strike and you're used to sort of looking down a, a blank corridor most of the time. Um, so it's sort of getting used to that. Um, this is why this mode's good, and it's a good one for practicing uh, practicing whip, basically. Ah, we missed the Roadhog. We missed the Roadhog twice. Okay, we're very, so you can see that we are expert brick. Uh, <laughs> we got the Zen, though. Doesn't matter if you miss the Roadhog, as long as you hit the Zen. Okay, so we actually changed this mode so Bastion can't turn into tank. That's important because then you can just, when you go add AI, uh, you can just add all easies and it's much better for your mode, so otherwise it kind of Bastion turns into tank and uh, then, not tank, what is it? Gatling gun? Which is going to be super balanced Overwatch 2, can't wait to see that. PvE Bastion, hello? <laughs> How are they going to banish that? They're buffing it. I'd like to see Bastion with buffs in Overwatch 2 PvE, I really will, it's going to be fun. 
And... Okay, what do we got? So, yeah, this mode is just good for whatever. Warming up the mouse. Uh, getting used to healing. We've done like zero heals. Practicing healing is good. Ah, so why are we here? Healing. Uh, so you can just hold down the heal. So I'm holding down the button. I have got my thumb pressed on mouse 5. And then I go onto Ana and it heals. So if you're trying to heal a Genji, and Genji is jumping around all over the place and you're trying to click, 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 difficult. But Brig, very good. You just hold it down and then as soon as your mouse goes over, they get the heal. So I'm just holding down the button, they get the heal. Holding down the button, get the heal. I won't even look, look. See, they got the heal. So Brig healing, very easy. You want to get heal, Anna? There it is. Okay, so... That's one of the one of the main benefits is if you've got a team of like Tracer, Genji, Echo, Doomfist, you know, Diva, all these people flying around all over the place, uh, then Brig very good for healing. And okay, that's about that. Anything else we need to know? Um, most about 99.999% of Overwatch players don't really think that rally is very good. So if you get two people in your rally, that's a good effort. Because most of the time you rally, your team will run away. See, 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 Bastion runs away. We press rally, Bastion run away. This is very common. You'll see this mostly competitive. Most competitive players will run away from rally. They uh, they try to get out of it. They don't like the yellow glow. Um, so just be aware of that. And uh, you know, it's just a kind of a fact of life. It's kind of like every second Genji blade gets McCree flash playing and a slept. You know, it's just it's just how the game is. And okay, that's it for warm up. What else do we need to know? Uh, let's get into a gamer. What's on arcade? Arcade good for farming loot boxes. We'll, we'll play. A, we'll play a deathmatch here. Four v four deathmatch. Brig very strong. Depending on map. Depending on map. If you get uh, what is it? The one that's really wide open outdoor one. That's no good. Uh, so when you're playing Brig and you're moving around, you kind of want to jump at all times to keep your shield up. Because if you jump, so what I'm doing right now is I press shield, I press jump rather, and then I'm pressing shield, and as soon as I land, I let go and I press it again. So I'm go jumping around the map at all times at pretty much max speed. It's kind of like 90% because for that slight millisecond where your shield is touching the ground as you land, but before you let go and jump, your speed is a little bit slower, but it's pretty much the same. Whereas if you just hold it down, it's actually slower. Uh, thank you, Casino. <laughs> so if you hold it down and jump, very slow. But if you if you if you're letting go and pressing it up again, then the speed is good. Huh? The speed feels nice. But if you're holding it down, slow. You can you can hear the difference. So you can see that the like sound, and you see on the bottom right how the shield is flashing. That means that I'm letting go and I'm pressing it again. Uh, this is an important mechanic for playing Brig, uh, keeping your shield up. Brig has 200 shield, 250 life, so if your shield is down, you're at half-life. Half-life at the moment, full life. Half-life, full life. So that's one way to think about it. And the thing about it is it's not even 200, right? So say this Ash is shooting the shield. Maybe they will. They're not going to bother. Here, shoot me in the back a bit. Hey, can, I'm trying to do a test. Can, Ash, shoot the shield a bit, huh? Thanks. <laughs> can you shoot it? Are you on, you got chat? No? How about now? Pow, pow. Okay, nice, nice. So 134. Okay, shoot, shoot a bit more. Okay, good, 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 good. 94. So our shield's at three, right? If I was to block that with my three shield, that absorb all the damage. So they can headshot me for like 200 something. So the shield actually then in that situation, the shield was worth like 400, because the last attack on the shield absorbed the full attack. So very good against heroes like Widow, Ash, Hanzo. Uh, people that have one strong, like, slow attack. Uh, so that's another thing to remember. That's, like, shield so, so important. You can block a huge amount of damage. So see how Widow didn't think that I could get them, and then I just shield charge out and hit them? Uh, so that's another very common thing to see. Okay, we got the Hanzo. Okay, so we, we we'll show you about the shield. We're at 82. Oh, Hanzo, shoot me. Widow, anybody? Okay, we try. We come over here. Widow's on fire. Hey! Hanzo. We're not worried about we're worried about Hanzo. <laughs> See if you give your back to Widow, then hard for them to hit you in the head, right? Because from behind, Briggs got heads like quite low. So the real problem is the Hanzo. 
because Hanzo arrow just hits you in the body, does a lot of damage. Widow kinda needs to hit you in the head to be a problem. Ana, ooh, we nearly got the whip. This thing, can you attack through? Nice tip, you can actually attack through that. We could have maybe got that the other way. Anyway, what's with this queue? 3 minutes 20, Sunday. Sunday we can't get an arcade deathmatch in Australia. That's the state of my queue. Okay, feathers flying around. We really don't want to edit it, so what else can what else can we put in here? Some more tips. Uh, looking around corners. Juggle soldier into air if you can. Get there! Okay, we got it. Yeah, if you shoot like... If you like, you want to use your like your wedge. So when you when you're playing against soldiers, you want to like hit down like this, and the soldiers get like booped up into the air. And if they haven't hit sprint already, there's like an extra time where they don't get the speed boost. So that can be nice. Um, what else? Uh, because you're in third person, you can look around corner, look around corners. So here, normally you're like, how how can I see what's in this room? Brig, you can just go. Oh, I see everything in here. Not a problem. Okay, we're going up. So yeah, looking around shield is important. A way to practice that is just play Hammond. Hammond, you're in third person mule. Oh, oh, who did? Oh. What are they? They left? We're still at what? Casino, Bowie, rest in peace. Mozzie, 28. Okay, uh, we're at f if we get to six minutes, we'll just play a quick play. Okay, we feel bad for the Widow though. Oh. You can, you can block that. So... Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. Bob, important to know that Bob actually does give Inspire. If you hit a turret, Torb turret, you hit a whip, your team no heals. But if you hit Bob, you do get heals. Uh, so Bob can actually be quite handy for... Uh, what is this character's name? Birgitta? Brig? I just say Brig. I can't do the accent for the proper pronunciation, so mostly I just say Brig. And... okay, we're at 5 minutes 14. What's some other hacks? You might be able to... There's some places that I don't... I don't really know the hacks. I'm not up to date with it. Ah, uh, oh, if you get Widow Poisoned, just get the health pack, it goes away. So, anytime that you've got a Widow Poison and you don't want them to have wall hacks for you, just stand on health pack and it gets rid of the poison. Very handy. Okay, we're now at nearly 6 minute queue. Anything else to know? Ah, uh, your ultimate build's very slow. And... Apart from that, um, that's about it. Okay, we're at 551. We got 9, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, we tried. We tried to do deathmatch in my favorite game mode, but Australia. Australia's. Ah, uh, bad miss. Bad miss. Okay, we're at 1. As soon as it gets to 100, some amount. Okay, we're out of here. Bang! Okay, well we tried. Petra very good for Brig also. Petra very good. Chateau very good. Um, anyway, so we try quick play. What do we got? Two minutes and we get some credits. Also. Okay, we're gonna play a quick play. What else? Chateau. Good map. You can also, if you want to practice on Brig, you can go like... I forget what my buttons are. Genji, please. Okay, Genji's clean. Genji wants to play. We hide behind here. We okay. We okay. Okay, we were fine. <laughs> we got the Genji, that's the important part. The important part is so long as you kill the Genji, it doesn't matter because blade less less likely to come. Genji, no 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 no. Don't do it, Genji. <laughs> Don't do it. So we go after Genji. Because the Genji is generally the one that's going to win. Oh they disappeared. They just they, they use their ninja of smoke vanish. Uh, if you see Genji in a deathmatch, generally they're in the top four. So if, you, if you're trying to farm boxes for the week, just keep going after the Genjis and it prolongs the map. Uh, because Brig's kind of slow, right? You can't go McCree and just get free kills everywhere. Uh, you have to actually work for most of your kills. Hashtag working is Brig, LOL. Okay, we've got Sombra. Sombra. Sombra important to... Oh, McCree. Okay, nice. Oh dear, we missed. Sombra behind. Oh yeah, okay, we're okay. We're okay. Soldier soldier's got our back, huh? Soldier has got our back big time. Okay, where is soldier? Soldier's here, we're gonna push off map. Okay, all good. So Yeah, it's uh oh oh we forgot about Sombra. 
We forgot about some bro. Somebody went down there somewhere. Okay. Anyway, oh, McCree's out here. Soldier's carving. Can we get the map though? Seriously, it's it's like three minutes or less. My matchmaking for Briggs kind of high, so that's kind of a problem. And just wait. Oh. Okay. Soldier didn't have heal station. Surprise. I was expecting him to be full health. I would have lost that. Um. And also the soldier was kind of here. If you're playing soldier and there's a brig behind this wall, just come back to here. And then now brig can't do anything. But if you're here, brig has a chance. So, I didn't miss you Sombra, no. Sombra you don't see too often, but getting popular in Overwatch League, so watch out for that. Ah, the brig v brig. The brig v brig. So if you ever see a brig in deathmatch, here's what you do. You see the brig and you go like this. Okay? <laughs> brig vs brig is like Arisa vs Arisa, okay? It's no good. It's no good. Doomfist is on the ash. Oh. Okay, Doomfist is a little bit tricky. We wait, we wait. Okay, we run from Doom. Doom, Doom didn't punch. Oh. Doom is a problem, okay? Doom is very good against Brig. Damn, so I should have actually gone with the stun there. Stun would have been the maneuver uh, to try to still die to Doom. However. Mm, dang. Uh, I guess we push, we got the rally. We kill McCree, because we can actually kill McCree. Doom, Doom we miss. See how big the Doom is? Okay, we got the map. We got the map. Doom, if you see Doomfist, pretty much run away. Uh, the odds of winning against the Doomfist in this day and age, very low. Okay, we got the tag on a great map. We've got a map that is actually balanced. Uh, so if you play 2CP, not balanced at all. Uh, whereas attack control center, very balanced. 50-50, equal chance to win. Uh, but you play 2 CP, not equal chance to win at all. If you're attacking, any map pretty much at higher ranks that has attack, attack is much more likely to win for about like 80%, 90% of the time. Okay, we got Orion, which is nice. We got Hammond, which is good. Brig is actually very strong against Hammond. Our DPS is Soldier McCree. So as Brig healing in uh, team games, you want to focus on Ana, McCree, and Soldier. Anna's going to be doing most of the healing on the Rhine, and you want to put repair packs with DPS. The main thing to know here is that Anna is the god. If you can keep Anna alive, then your team can win. If Anna dies, you're about to lose very quick. So I could repair pack here, but I save for Soldier. Anna's coming up slow. We've got a Genji. And we got a terrible whip. Oh dear, <laughs> we got killed. We got absolutely murdered. Uh, my team was a little bit playing back, uh, which is unfortunate. They couldn't really push top left because Hammond was on the side. I should have backed off a bit. I do play tend to if you if you played like uh, if you played what is it? <laughs> right, Ryan, you don't need to hit it twice. Huh? You, we got you. Okay, settle down. <laughs> okay, Genji's a problem. We want Hammond to come in though, so we're waiting for Hammond. Okay, we got a free heal, and now we wait for Genji on the right. Right? Uh, okay, Genji already has blade. The freaking, what is that? The 20% blade. Okay. Somehow, some way. We killed Hammond, that was a mistake. We got Nano though, so it's okay. Team also got Nano. We wait for Nano. Now we heal these two. Doomfist is on our armor. And we protect armor here now. We can shield between Doom and. Uh, Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Out. No, there was a Ryan there. We'd... This was unfortunate. Where did Ryan go? Right, when? Ryan, 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 you had a nano brig in front of you and you're full health and you don't press W. What is your issue, huh? <laughs> okay, we got a terrible Ryan, unfortunately. <laughs> Such is the problem. We just, we always just get hit with shatter, don't worry about that. If you play Brig, you, you try to block the shatter, it doesn't matter. You, you point your shield left, you point your shield right, you still get shattered. Uh, so what are we doing? We got a bit salty because Ryan was terrible. What was Ryan up to? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Okay, we heal Anna here. Okay, we keep Anna alive. We wasted some pack. Oh, we got Moira now. Moira, not as important as Anna. Moira kind of heals herself a bit, so we can kind of free flow a bit. Oh, oh dear. 
Okay, we will run, but we gotta block the open. Okay. Bo bo okay, where's Moira? We got Soldier here. Okay, McCree's over there. We're all good. Team's good. Well done, everybody. Nice work, huh? <laughs> okay, Ryan's by themselves with Moira. Mc Soldier's going where? Soldier, you can just shoot them at the door, you know? You don't need to go upstairs, Soldier. What are you doing? You're crazy. you crazy kid, Soldier. You could be shooting them here. Soldier, you don't have your ultimate yet. What are you doing? <laughs> Okay, we're all good, we're all good. Doomfist is an issue. Okay, nice. We cleaned them up. Team effort. We shouldn't have healed Hammond there, but we push now. Ooh, okay, we blocked that. We push on the side here. Soldier. Ryan is deep. Ryan is deep, but we get there. Moira did. What is this? What is this? What is, what is this? What is this? What is this? Ryan, Ryan, where's my Ryan? <laughs> Dang. Ryan got killed? I was I thought Ryan might still be alive, so I was kinda trying to get the rest of the team to help the Ryan. However it didn't work. I rally, don't die, run away, Ryan's coming to you, get to Ryan. Okay, Moira. Moira lives. Okay, we good, we good, we good. We got bull. We stun bull as soon as we see grapple. Anna's Anna's weak back right, huh? Nice it, nice it. Okay. Oh shit. Okay, lucky. We were super lucky there. Ah, uh, so if you're about to die, just get all your repair packs off, huh? Bop, 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 bop. Hammond's coming back. McCree needs heal, but he's running away from healer. Standard McCree. Okay, group up. Ryan coming main. Okay, we want soldier buff, Ryan, we try to get, oh they have tracer, they have tracer, we wait, we wait, okay, tracer no recall, tracer is actually very good against Brig, so you got to watch out for that, ah, uh, especially when you miss your stun, where'd they go, <laughs> recall, if we stun her she's dead, okay, we finally got her, watch out for him, we're a bit low, so we're gonna chill for a sec. Moira's down, so we're on heal mode now. Watch out for mines. Okay. Uh, what did we think about that game? It was kind of shenanigans, quick play on the Sunday, you know, such as it is. How was my play? Pretty average. Pretty average, but, um, you know, we healed a lot of people. Our tracer, anti-tracer was garbage. We should have actually pulled away from tracer instead of pushing into them. If you've got a tracer that doesn't blink, like, Every time blinks off cooldown, then uh, things get a bit hard. But a lot of times you'll see traces, they just blink around a lot. Um, our soldier is a little bit of a concern. 70% ultimate goes high ground. So we want to prioritize healing on McCree a little bit more. Um, and then soldier also has their own heal, so McCree is a good heal target. Moira, less so than Ana. Okay, we have Hammond here, so Hammond's, we probably try to get a repair back. He might actually get damage, so we forgot to talk about mechanic. They still have Hammond, we're going left. Where's Ryan? Ryan, were you asleep? Why are you behind me, Ryan? <laughs> so, against Winston, you want to walk into the shield and then whip them out a bit. Okay, Ryan's pushing, everybody go, go, go! A little bit unlucky. Oh. Okay, we okay, we okay. We got Ryan, Kenji, Lucio low. Okay. Okay, we just gotta stun this guy. We shouldn't have actually hit that whip. Ryan, Ryan, you're fine. You go to Moira. Ryan, just press healing once, huh? We don't need to hear you crying about heals the whole map, please. Okay, bad whip, bad whip, but we did we did damage the thingy, so it's okay. Where's Genji? We got a Hanzo deep back. We pushed the Hanzo, Soji got it done. Okay, Hammond left side. Okay, we're going to help our Hammond because he's in a bit of trouble. Okay, the Winston's pushing mid. Okay, Hammond's in trouble. Hammond's in deep. A little bit unlucky there. We're farming some ultimates. They're pushing white room, come to the back, they're not at bridge mostly. 
Uh, we big. If you miss Winston Stun at that range, you know something's up. Uh, important to note: if Genji is deflecting, you don't you don't actually get a heal. Okay, what's going on here? Oh dear. Hit Winston. Okay, we're gonna protect Moira. She ran now. It's all good. Ryan is. I don't know what Ryan's doing. They have a Zen on Bridger. Okay, Zen is down. Oh, Genji's here now. And Bled. Okay, we hit Genji away, but Tracer got us. Uh, what have we got? A bunch of ultimates. They've got the point. Save ultimates, save them. Okay, soldiers off the map. Ryan, don't go, don't go, Ryan. Huh? Wait for soldier. Okay, here comes soldier. Soldier legs, get there. <laughs> soldier has ulti. Soldier, no. Okay, Genji's a problem. Genji, Genji, no dash. Okay, we're just farming heals. This is good for us. Ah, uh, they have a talk now. We can't push without soldier. Huh? We need to wait to babysit them in. <laughs> We've had three ultimates for this whole time. Not good. Okay, let's wait. Let's wait. Huh? No supports with you. You have no supports. <laughs> Okay, Ryan's going so... McCree's up the top! Dang. Soldier's up high ground. Okay, we've got to keep these fools around. Watch out for Rotog, okay? eh? Mm. Damn, if I could've got that there, would've been good. Okay, so Rotog... Dang. I got greedy. I got greedy. I should've crouched. If I'd have crouched here, it would've been okay. Mm, probably not. They did a good shot. I got greedy. I tried to save it one shield click to take some damage, except I got pretty much one shot. Sometimes against Roadhog you can save one shield charge. You can save one shield charge. Okay, we're using everything now, but it's in a bad position. The Roadhog pretty much destroyed us, because Hammond vs Roadhog is no good. And then we weren't able to get to the point because we never really grouped up too much. Reinhardt's shield was a little bit, he was a little bit, well, Ryan was too fast and the DPS was too slow. So what happened is Ryan's shield just keeps getting broken all the time and it's no good. This map, much better for Ryan, however, also good for Roadhog. Swap Desire helps us a great deal uh, because Hammond versus Roadhog is pretty much no good. I was hitting Hammond away a little bit too much, so that's a problem. We now have an Echo. So Echo is number one target. Echo, if you put this repair pack on, uh, it's quite good because they have the best ultimate in the game by far. Uh, so if you can keep Echo alive, it's all good. Except Echo went where? <laughs> Echo disappeared. Echo, why don't you fly over the top middle and shoot the team, huh? Okay, we're on this one. Now we just hit them that way. Damn, okay, we lost Moira, that's a problem. Okay, who we on? We on Anna. Anna is our target. Okay, soldier's down. Ryan needs heal. Ryan, repair pack, you got the brig only. Moira's dead. <laughs> Go to the mega health pack, Ryan. <laughs> There's a soldier healing wheel. Stand in it, Ryan. Ryan, over here, this heal's on the ground. What are you doing? <laughs> okay, Echo. Echo we focus on here. Soldiers likes to do long flank and get killed by this team that has a lot of, like... <laughs> Side flankers, soldier, why are you there, idiot? <laughs> okay, Genji's flooring some blades. Yes, 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 sure. Okay, we didn't see where Genji went, but uh, he doesn't have the flak, we know that. Dang, we didn't turn enough. We didn't turn quite fast enough to get that. What we like to do a lot is poke out and hit Roadhog, because uh, you just keep pushing them away from the point and giving your team some time. We have ultimate here, but team seems to be doing quite well. We have Echo soon. Moira's gonna cover us. Ah, uh, dang! This is where you save ultimate. Uh, no, Genji's blade has been ineffectual. Okay, we can just hold the door here. We just hold the door and save Moira from Tracer. 
Echo, nice. Bep at least half near line. Okay, we want to push him in the way for the heal. Oh dear. Okay, Roadhog is down. Now we push, check on Moira. Moira is fine. Soldier needs help though. Trace is full health now. Oh yeah. Dang. Oh, we had the kill. We had the kill, but we missed the whip. Okay, who, where's the team? Where's the team? What ultimates? We got nothing. Hammond middle coming around behind. They have Winston on point, we're gonna just stop the Hammond. No, but we miss, we're a little bit out of range. Is that Baptiste down there? We're in trouble here, but we stop. Ah, uh, that's a problem. Okay, we're gonna die here. Well, we thought we were gonna die, but somehow Moira is a god. And I was just getting off repair packs there. Staying alive is good. Then that's possible to get with my mouse sensitivity is a little bit too low for it. Okay. Nice, strong team. Well played, well played. Okay, so that was mostly shenanigans, but uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's, you know, it's Overwatch. What can you say about it? It's a chaotic game. And that's, that's about it. What do we need to know? Prioritize healing on DPS. Um, try to hit tracer with stun instead of missing with stun. That's important. And give your Ryan a bit of chat when they're pressing I need healing three times in a row because screw that guy. And what else? Ah, uh, yeah, the jump thing. The jump thing is big. Uh, panning around for your team to try to find heals is big. Um, whipping traces off map is good also. Uh, we did incorporate, we did incorporate the, what was it, this one? to hit the Zen off the bridge. We saw Zen was by themselves on the bridge, so we just reposition with Shield Bash and then get into point to hit them off the bridge. Um, that's about it. Anything else you want to know about Brig, uh, just let me know. I'll try to get a team deathmatch at a later date and put that up. Uh, however, the, the game didn't want me to play team deathmatch today, so such as it was. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, um, it was a pretty terribly edited with lots of shenanigans and such is life. However, uh, you know, there's some good pointers, some good pointers. Oh, what you can also do as Brig is, uh, say you've got somebody like here, let's, let's imagine that they were further apart. You can whip this one so that it's close to that one and then you get them with the AoE. Uh, so that's something to think about if you've got like... Uh, you want to you get like a roadhog and you let's say that you're here and you want to whip that roadhog to the right off the map you can go like dead uh, so you can do that faster well a lot faster as well uh, you can also do like uh, we missed we, we nearly we nearly wedged them off but such as it is anyway Birgitta signing off thanks for watching hopefully this was helpful far too long <laughs> peace out